Welcome back to the final segment of today's program on Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Wu Rui Guo. We will continue our conversation with Dr. Teddy Huang, who is the president and CEO of VMAX Telecom here in Taiwan. Dr. Huang, we know that WiMAX technology is a very important milestone in the continuous development of you know, wireless technology here in Taiwan and around the world. What will be next on the agenda? in terms of technology development in this industry? I think here, the recently there's a lot of discussion mm -hmm. on WiMAX mm -hmm. versus uh, LTE, which mm -hmm. is long-term evolution, okay. or some people call it 4G. Okay. And in my opinion, the, the basically 80% of the technology are common. Basically, there's not much that um, difference. Interoperable. The only difference, yes. is, in my opinion, is basically one is the timing Okay. The WiMAX solution is available today, okay. and actually you can buy and build a network. That's mm. what we're doing, okay. the network. Uh, but LTE may be quite a few years away. Maybe mm. some okay. people said maybe around three to five years away before mm. you actually see a commercial deployment of LTE. Okay. <coughs> but the, the, the bandwidth, as I mentioned initially, are limited. Mm -hmm. So people are looking for data solutions, okay. providing the data. Mm -hmm. Services to our customer. Okay. Uh, HSDPA is, or H, uh, HSPA is being deployed in Taiwan, mm -hmm. but they they require a lot of bandwidth okay. in order to deliver the bandwidth, the speed that people are really looking, looking for. for. Yes. So I I feel that uh, WiMAX is here to stay. Okay. And uh, you need we need base station. Okay. LTE we need base new base station as well. Yes. They need a spectrum uh -huh. and we need spectrum. Okay. Basically everything we need today to deploy WiMAX network, mm -hmm. they will eventually will need to okay. deploy LTE. Okay. So not a lot of advantage. The major advantage of WiMAX is here. Oh. We are here today. Yeah. We need to do more aggressively okay. <laughs> deploy the network. Okay. And truly can deliver that wireless broadband experiences to our customer. Okay. Well, as a leader in technological development in this area, Dr. Huang, can you then share with us, although you know, in terms of commercial application, WiMAX is now mature, it's available, it's ready. What will be some of the limitations in terms of the WiMAX technology that you could see on the immediate horizon and also on the more long-term you know, perspective? I don't want to see the limitation, basically, okay. I think that has a lot to do with how much you want to invest into oh, okay. deploying the network. Oh, okay. uh, certainly one very important factor is the coverage. Oh, Basically okay. whether you can have WiMAX deployed everywhere, uh, every, piece, every place in, <laughs> in Taiwan, yes. because initially we said uh, WiMAX is allow you to, uh, to be anywhere, mm -hmm. anytime, yes. and using any device to access yes. the services. Yes. Uh, so that's the that challenge whether we will have enough courage, mm -hmm. uh, enough resources to deploy a network which is, uh, is, has good coverage like 3G. Mm, okay. I think that's very important. Okay. I think for Taiwan, I think uh, with more and more bandwidth uh, in, in the year to come, okay. and uh, there are broadband services people are to look at. What broadband services? Yes. Unfortunately, today, for example, we look at a 3G. Certainly, Taiwan Mobile, Far Eastern, and Taiwan yeah. Telecom are doing yeah. quite well. Yes. They're making a lot of money, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? But, but if you look at the revenue structure, over 80, 85% of the revenue still from voice. Mm -hmm. Okay, the yes. data the revenue is, is quite limited. Very limited. But the good mm -hmm. news is, since it's very limited, there's a lot of opportunity for you mm -hmm. to grow. Mm -hmm. And that's where I think they all need to grow in order to grow the business. Okay. And so we need to focus uh, on some of the broadband services okay. uh, to serve our customer better, to mm -hmm. improve their life mm -hmm. and increase the, the productivity mm -hmm. at work as well. Mm -hmm. Well, one other thing that maybe people have on their mind is the uh, possibility of in the future within Taiwan that we could have national operation you know, potential. You know, do, you, do you see that you know, happening anytime soon? Now it's northern and southern Taiwan. I don't know anytime soon, but okay. certainly I think that the direction we have to move quickly. Okay. Because uh, as I initially I said, mm -hmm. we need to serve our customer. 
Yes. And Taiwan with high speed rail, there's basically no south, no north or south. People mm -hmm. are just moving around. Mm -hmm. So basically, we want to have a, a network <coughs> operating in a seamless way to serve our customer. Mm -hmm. So people will certainly will, the operator, I think, north in the south certainly will, 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 will engage in roaming discussion. Okay. Uh, maybe even uh, emerging is it does not rule out. A okay. possibility. Okay. The NCC actually allowed the operator uh, to work together. Really? Uh, they can certainly can merge if they want to. Okay. Okay. If so the if the business can prove that it actually works better by merging, yeah. uh, certainly yes. Because yeah. if you two up two licenses mm -hmm. uh, in the region, if they come together, mm -hmm. they only have to build one network in yes. two. Mm -hmm. <coughs> but uh, from north to south you can eliminate a lot the transparency issue okay. between two operators, so make the rooming a lot easier. Okay, and another thing that Dr. Huang, you mentioned earlier is that a lot of people are watching what will happen with the y, you know, WiMAX technology here in Taiwan in terms of its you know, service, in terms of the uh, dependability, and in terms of future you know, development prospects. And uh, have you been approached as the president and CEO of VMAX by other international you know, companies who may be thinking of drawing from your experiences here in Taiwan and uh, take it back home and maybe uh, they'll contract your company as one of their you know, consultants, helping them or helping their country to develop the WiMAX technology there. I think certainly. I think in the past year, actually, mm -hmm. there are potential okay. operators okay. Uh, in, from India, oh, okay. uh, from uh, Indonesia, okay. okay. Emerging markets. Uh, emerging market, basically, they are, as you probably know, that India is going to issue uh, mm. YMAX license mm. uh, pretty soon. They yes. talk about that for for a year now, more yeah. than a year now, but <laughs> yeah. maybe it will happen beginning of next year. Yes. But they basically want uh, us to share uh, some of our experiences mm -hmm. in point the network mm -hmm. so they won't make the same mistake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Certainly, that uh, we uh, we, are, we were interested in helping them to building a, a network of, you know, cooperation. and uh, deploying the, the services mm -hmm. in, their, their, in their market. Mm -hmm. So basically, share our experiences. Okay. We uh, certainly welcome the other operator like UQ, like, yeah. uh, like uh, Clearwire yes. and, uh, <coughs> and Scottel in Russia. Basically, if they would like to team up with us yeah. to serve uh, our customers. Mm -hmm. So that will certainly be possibility that you're <coughs> willing to entertain. Right, because yeah. right, for example, a few weeks ago, the, the subscriber of Clearwire in the mm -hmm. U.S. come to Taiwan. Okay. They actually can log on to our network and to do our service. We, we offer free service to them. Okay, good. And uh, Dr. Huang, as uh, one of the, you know, the key participants in the industry here in Taiwan, telecom industry, what would you think the market in Taiwan in terms of telecom development and services in the next few years will be? Would it be you know, some of the mergers, like you said, taking place? Uh, would the quality of service become more dependable and more you know, reasonable in terms of the price? You know, not that I, you know, I'm saying it's not going to be reasonable from the beginning, but in terms of you know, all these different aspects, how would you categorize the market? I think people are focused on the services you're going to deliver to the customer. Okay. And basically, I think the voice is kind of saturated. Okay? I think people are going to focus on what services Take advantage mm -hmm. of the new technology available to them. Mm -hmm. They will offer uh, new services, maybe services never dreamed of before. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think that's where people uh, will, uh, will enjoy, mm -hmm. enjoy their life, mm -hmm. enjoy their experiences. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where we'll go. We'll, we'll focus on services. Mm -hmm. And uh, the licenses, I think people will probably talk about uh, collaboration, yes. uh, if not, uh, merging, yes. Mer merger discussion certainly will take place, oh. but uh, it would collaboration, take longer, yes. collaboration, uh, the beginning. collaborate together to offer services to our customer. Uh, that's unavoidable. Mm -hmm. That will happen. Okay, uh, whether the merger will take place quickly, that depends. Okay, <laughs> well, let's take it one step further. What will be some of the things that you know, from your you know potential or targeted uh, customer groups? They've already expressed in terms of you know the kinds of things they would like to get from your operations in the future when you become operate you know operational. Uh, we certainly 
that they're looking uh, looking forward to using the Wi-Fi network mm -hmm. as an alternative network to providing data services. Yes, mm -hmm. and uh, if we look at Taiwan like uh, uh, APPW. Mm -hmm. uh, um, that basically have is the only CDMA vendors in Taiwan. Yes. But they don't have a, a broadband data solution mm -hmm. right now. Yes. And uh, basically, they could take advantage of WiMAX to offer data services mm -hmm. like Spring did. Mm -hmm. Spring and Clearwire basically that's what it is. Mm -hmm. They're using uh, CDMA for voice. Mm -hmm. They're using WiMAX for data. Okay. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, I think good. A model. Okay. Certainly, we will work closely with all the three G operators. Okay. Okay. Their data resources are limited. Okay. I think by working together, we will be uh, mutually uh, successful. Okay. Good. And finally, a personal question, Dr. Wang. You've been back in Taiwan almost ten years now. Uh, you were saying, you were saying jokingly before we started taping that. When you left uh, Bell Lab, you know you were thinking of retirement, but uh, obviously you have a lot more to offer, you know, to the telecom industry here in Taiwan as well as in other parts of the world. Uh, have you have any, you know, feelings or regrets or you know uh, excitement that you can share with, you know, share with us in terms of you know coming back to Taiwan? I, I certainly felt initially felt I want to come back to Taiwan to contribute uh, to contribute to mm -hmm. actually uh, to pay back. Yes. Okay. Uh, what uh, my mother country has uh, helped me to be successful in the, in, yes. in the U.S. From mm -hmm. the, uh, right from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But I think I find some of the work here is very, very interesting. Yes. Initially at E3, I mm -hmm. think uh, the, the three wonderful years at E3. Yes. And uh, <coughs> then I go to Taichung working yeah. for Mobitai. Yes. And then Taiwan Mobile. And mm -hmm. then now have Good. opportunity to, to deploy a WiMAX yeah. uh, uh, services yes. Yes. Uh, in, in northern Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And I, I certainly felt that uh, I would like to see that we can help yeah. to deliver these WiMAX promises yeah. to, to Taiwan. That yeah. I think that's my, um, yeah. my promises for yeah. the for the coming years. You certainly have delivered on your promises, and certainly the viewers at home, and myself included, have certainly benefited from the conversation with you today. Dr. Wang, with all, you know, best interest to you, uh, best wishes to you, you know, for your future success. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you. Enjoy oh. to be here. Yes. Thank you for watching our program today. I'll see you next time on Macroview Television. <laughs>